My mom was sick. Doctor's diagnosis faulty. Prescription messed her kidneys up. That still haunts me. They told her not to have me, but she wouldn't abort. She said no. My mama said no. Even if it cut her life short. I remember being in the car with mama slumped and daddy speeding. Final breath was taken, left my heart bleeding. I was age four and my mommy got her wings early. I still question why she didn't live to see 30, y'all. See, my mom was from a small town, Hugo, Oklahoma. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys are, are familiar with Hugo, Oklahoma. A small town close to the Texas border. She got sick one day, wasn't feeling good. They don't have major hospitals in Hugo. They don't have, they, they didn't, at that time, she had a clinic. Not as great as yours, though. <laughs> Not nearly as great as yours. And so she went to the clinic, right? And we trust people in life. We have to trust so many people to do what they say they're going to do. Think about how much we trust people. We trust people with our food every day, not to spit in it. So if you guys out there acting silly toward those people in those drive throughs you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. For real. I always think about just th simple things that we trust people to do. Like if you're walking across the street and there's a car right there and the person in the car waves you to come on by. We trust that that joker ain't going to speed up and knock us down when we go past. Well, my mom wouldn't trust that this, this doctor. She had the symptoms that she had. And they gave her what they thought was her diagnosis. And so, of course, once you get your diagnosis, they give you a prescription to go get some medicine. And so she's like, okay, cool, I'm going to get this prescription. I'm going to be better. Problem was they misdiagnosed her. And so the prescription that they gave her messed up her kidneys. And so she leaves the hospital, had no idea what was going on, but she gets pregnant. They find that her kidneys are messed up, and the doctor tells her, you need to have an abortion. And she was like, I need to have a what? You have to because your kidneys are messed up, and so there's no, it's, not, it's not safe for you to have a baby. She was like, I said, she said, sir, I don't know where you come from, but where I come from, we don't have abortions. And I'm not, having, I'm not aborting my baby. But, she, but the doctor told everybody in her family, told all her friends, advise her not to have this baby. And her family told her she shouldn't have it. Friends told her she shouldn't have it. But she did. And that's why I'm standing on this stage today. But everything seemed like it was going great. By the time I got four years old, all I remember was being in the car with my daddy driving frantically, speeding, and I'm in the back seat. My mom is just writhing in pain, writhing in pain. And Daddy's trying to comfort, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Little did I know, that would be the last time that I would see my mother alive. See, things are gonna happen to us, and what happened to us, the way we respond to what happens to us, the way we turn out is what decides our character. What decides what our will is, what shows the world what our true colors are. So I know you're going to go through something. I know we, some of you guys may have went through something similar to me in a different fashion. But that's not the time for you to lay down and give up on life. I remember one of my few memories of my mom was being at the funeral. At the time I was four years old, I didn't know what a funeral was. I just saw people walking up, crying, walking back. And I thought to myself, why is everybody taking turns crying over my mama? had no idea. In the car with mama slumping, daddy speeding. Final breaths were taken, left my heart bleeding. Age four, my mommy got her wings early. I still question why she didn't live to see 30. Papa scooped me up and took me from that drama. At least that was until he met my stepmama. Crazy is, as crazy does, she took the cake. I broke down because I felt I couldn't catch a break. You guys are going to have people in your life that try to tear you down, that tell you that you can't achieve, that, that, that mentally try to break you. But I'm trying to tell you guys right now today, you are an unbreakable force. And if you dig deep and if you believe in God, and if you believe in yourself, you can power through any situation that somebody tries to throw your way.